Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. I messed that up. Gooding and Company for the auctions. Yeah, a cute doggo. You all. <laughs> See that? Like an old engine. Okay, this is crowded today. So we'll try our best to give you guys a look at most of this stuff. Ooh, that's actually a good idea. Someone, someone just took a photo like this. Very cool. Oh, it's here too. Horsepower. I like that. Hey, old California place. It is. It's weird how like it's white right there. Yeah. Oh, this is cool too. <laughs> they still need the small gate. Oh, it's a Maserati. Does it go 185? Good lord. Okay. Look at this. And then this. Oh, times have changed, huh? This is belt driven. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. I think they had something like this at the Peterson Museum. Yeah, very cool. I think we've seen something like this at Black Hawk Museum. A different color though. And I'm pretty sure the first time I saw it, I mistook it for a California Azarati. Point out, in case you know the wood. Like, that's how they are. They got wood in the back. This thing's wild. And then this Ferrari. I'm gonna check this out. Look how beautiful this is. It's very pretty. Yep. Beautiful Porsche. And then the Shelby Cooper. This is exposed. Same thing back here. Battery just sitting. Shotgun, yeah, watch your feet, is the battery. Check out the back, it's really wild. The tail lights, the exhaust, how it comes out like that. It's a RSR 1973, the interior, or lack of interior. Right there. This thing's gorgeous. Look at that, right next to it. Next to this, the SL, another Super America, and a Montana play, yes, all the best businesses. They're in Montana. The Julieta? Yeah, the Sprint Speciale. It's very nice. Sprint Speciale. And the beautiful interior on this one with the plate. Very nice. Quite possibly the most beautiful Lamborghini mirror I've seen. Look, great colors on that. And the interior too, the white gated manual transmission and the headrest that you can move. Very beautiful mirror. The back, very nice. Okay, I was looking closely at this one because if you guys notice, you see all the swirl marks. It's almost like it's a a plexiglass instead of glass glass. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's all scratched up. 1928. I wonder if they replaced the original one and just put some plexiglass. Ooh, got ketchup and mustard. This one. Out here, beautiful green. Oh, the lighting is bad, but you definitely see the speedster. Look inside the speedster. I love the green dials on there. Yeah, that thing is very nice. The back, yeah. You can see how people might mistake this for a a spider because you know it has like the humps lovely lady humps right there but yeah the speedster i like the speedster from the 80s uh, very nice yeah these two again look really good together speedster followed by another speedster was a red one a bit better lighting there it is oh wow okay one speedster the other Perfect condition. We'll head to this side in just a bit, but I want to show you the back of this Alfa Romeo. And which is the, I believe it's the Montreal. Uh, we get to see a Montreal at Vault Auto Club's meet. So we're spoiled there. But yeah, 1972 Alfa Romeo, Montreal. Very cool. Very nice Benz, but this a Bart with white wall tires. Look at this. First time for me to see the interior. No wood. 
Oh wow! Look at the way the shifter is all the way up there. This is very cool. Don't think those are seats. This is cool. So what is it? 1951? Is that what it says? Yeah. Simca. Yeah. Definitely one of my favorites for today, the Montreal. This Ferrari. And then like Jerry was saying, like we just completely ignored the F40. I mean that's just how spoiled we are. We walk by F40s now like they're nothing. Definitely beautiful. It's Maserati. Interesting. Can't recall ever seeing one. Look at this interior. Okay, this kind of reminds me of that part we saw earlier. In a way, not the not this part at all, but it's very cool. In the back, very cool. Look at this Ducati motorbike, and then uh, Moto Peril. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but I've never seen that or heard of it. Um, MV Augusta, yeah, definitely have. And of course, I used to have a Panigale. It was similar, but not the same. No, no, not at all. Is that yeah. MV Agusta? Yeah, MV Agusta. But the Moto Perel, I never heard of. Ducati, wow. Yeah, that's Ducati. That's how they started, huh? Got these here. Is this, a, yeah, this one's a split. So we'll show you the split. Here are the rare split. They only made it for one year and deemed it to be unsafe. And I recently found out that some folks had the splits converted to non-splits. But I mean, they had no idea at the time that that flaw would make it so special. That's even if you consider it a flaw. Well, I guess they did because they had a hard time seeing. But yeah, 1963. Yeah, keep on going. This might have to be the thumbnail. We'll see. That's cool. Let me check that out. Okay, so I check out the gear configuration. Oh, wow. Very nice. Is this Ferrari? We got the green, and then right behind us, the green Corvette. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, we were reading the card, and it says that it's actually a Corvette 5.0 prototype, uh, 1954. Now it says Corvette there. I don't know if they ever said it like that, or had it on the side like that. Notice how the V is like a 5, because it's 5.0, I guess. Look at that interior. For you guys who are into Corvettes, maybe you can tell me if this is any different from a Corvette from this era, being that it's a prototype. The back, oh, probably the back is not at all like, like one from this era, or like ever. Look at this color. That is a beautiful color on the Porsche 993 GT2. This is a 2023 Bugatti. And you see how small it is compared to all the Actual size cars. Yes, uh, this is a this is a new one. This is really cool. One is like what what's his name? Manny Koshman has. Also very cool. An Alfa Romeo bus. If you look at the Alfa Romeo bus, as the youth would say, this bus is bussin' bussin'. Alfa Romeo. Okay, I'm gonna cut that out. Yeah, the, the back of the Alfa Romeo bus. Look at that. The details. We'll look at the. It appears there's a engine there. I don't think it's uh, to power it. I think it's just uh, there as a display. <laughs> there's no way. I think it's just there as a display. <laughs> that's funny. Damn, it's hot in there. Oh, it's got an original Sanyo. Uh, oh, did you see the back? Oh, no. The stickers on it are nice. Good interior. That's cool. I'm liking this bus. It's very nice. We have a very nice section here. We'll show you. This one's 1964 904 Carrera GTS. I know that because I am the human encyclopedia of cars. Just ignore that right there. Yeah. Right beyond that, it's right here. And it says a Bart. It's a Fiat. I thought it was a Lancia. But it's a Fiat and it says a Bart there. Well, barely. And another a Bart emblem there. Luckily, the lens is wide enough. I'm going to get back here in the corner and still get this shot for you guys. Try to give you guys an overall look. I'm pressed up against the wall here though. The Martini Livri on a 1976 Porsche 935. Look at that. It's 
She is very wide. Look how far out this wing, this mega wing sticks out. She is so gorgeous. All right, if you guys follow my channel consistently, you know that sarcastically, this is my favorite BMW of all time. But I know some of you actually like it. Here is a look at it. Can't have too many emblems. That one there. And there. Yeah, again, like I said, some of you like it. Oh, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And over here, a Bayron. This is a 2006. Man, these W16s. Look at, this. Look at the back. <laughs> what was he taking a picture of? Oh, probably this. Let's look a little bit closer at the Veyron. In case you've never seen the guts. Right there when the wing is up. And then, again, the W16. I'll kind of see inside. There's a lot of reflection. Um, this one's all gray interior. Wish I could give you more details about it. But just a year, and that's a Veyron, that's it. Yeah, another look at the front of the Volkswagen. Uh, Bay, um, Bugatti, sorry. And... Magasso. Magasso. No idea what it is. But it's built by this is it. Check out this little lady. And... What do you know? Our... I don't know, third? No, second? Montana plate of the day. Yes, all the best businesses are in Montana. How would you like to sit in one of these? Whoa, that's what she said. Anyways, this will put you back here. Oh, man. Barely any legroom. A couple tires. Not plate. Yeah, the plate is probably the nicest part of the car. Before GT. Uh, this one's a 2021. Oh, look at the back where the lighting is better. There we are. Um, probably me. Such a beauty. But again, like I mentioned in one video, the, the rear does remind me of the pigs from Angry Birds. Also a better view of the Corvette that we saw earlier, the prototype uh, DB5. Which, uh, a million for this? Two thousand. Oh. Like that. 1965. Another Ford GT. Uh, this one obviously not the, the newest one. This is the one that, yeah, you can't open the door anywhere and you gotta watch your head. It's still very beautiful. Much older Alfa Romeo than you're used to. 1937, and I say than you're used to because of Alfa Romeo friends that are watching. Look at this. Look at that interior. God. Man. Look that. I can't tell if this is made out of cardboard or wood. I think it's wood. What the heck? I think it's... Well, I can't tell. Oh no, that's metal. Maybe the paint makes it look like that. I think this is strange. Well, look, let's see what it is. Oh, here's the front. That thing, yeah, it's crazy. Studebaker, Landspeed Coupe, 1953. Yeah, this thing's wild. It makes the Volkswagen look just regular. Like, compared to that. Beauty of that is a 328 GTS. The Julietta has a windscreen in front of the windscreen. This is a beautiful shape to the Julietta. Got the front of the 328. Look at this. We're looking at this. 1936. And the little shifter right there. Hope you can see it. It's like right there. Very cool. Very cute, it'd be nice to try that out and see if it's easy to drive or not. A lot of Zagato coach, and you can tell this one, the Aston Martin, has definitely got that Zagato coach touch to it. You got the Z right there on the side. This is such a beauty. Really like the, the sides, how it kind of reminds you of the Subaru. It partially opens. Oh, no kidding. That's cool how they kept the sticker there. Yeah, to have it like that. Oh, it has two Zs on the Aston Martin badge. Very That's nice. Cool. Uh, what year is this? 1980-something? I didn't know about these. Oh, 19, yeah, 1986. In my opinion, I like yellow more. Me too, I yeah. Compared to this one. But that plate, though, that 57. Oh, yeah. Bet you from Beverly Hills. Oh, pff, yeah. 9420, uh, 94... Oh, the windscreen on this one. The windscreen on this. Austin Healy. That's crazy. I go like that. 
A little spring loaded action. Yeah, I like like the show. Yeah. Here towards the end. Oh yeah, you could tell this Very is an cool. American one. Fun fact. What's that? In other markets, you have uh, to have a amber light for the tricycle, oh. but in America, you don't. Ah, oh, interesting. And another fun fact: one of these is actually the reverse light. Oh, they on there. They both red, but, but when one you of turn them out, the lights is actually white. Crazy. This is neat, y'all. It's designed. Oh no, something's breaking over there on that side. Mm -hmm. 